Bangladesh is an abnormally low-lying nation. According to GermanWatch.org, Bangladesh is slightly falling down in terms of topography. This downward slant makes the country two to seven times more prone to sea level rise than the average coastal area worldwide. So while the world will experience three feet of sea level rise by 2100, Bangladesh will average 13 feet, devastating the flat farmland of the Sundarbans region of the south and leaving 17% of the country permanently underwater. This loss of farmland from the sea level rise will be so bad that Bangladesh is currently making desperate deals with South Sudan and Zambia to lease their arable land. But the worst impact of these rising seas in Bangladesh won't be the economic impact, but the human impact. By 2030, the sea level rise in the Sundarbans will displace 8 million Bangladeshis from their land. By 2050, 18 million, and by 2100, 40 million will be displaced. These millions of impoverished farmers will suddenly become climate refugees due to no fault of their own. And worst of all, they'll have no place to go, as the two countries bordering Bangladesh would not accept them. India, for example, is currently constructing a 2,500 mile border fence with Bangladesh specifically built to keep out climate refugees. And Myanmar won't be any more accepting, as is obvious from their violent, Islamophobic persecution of the Rohingya Muslims. So the end result is that Bangladesh's climate refugees will migrate to the slums of Dhaka, Bangladesh's largest city. While Dhaka is currently the world's 21st largest megacity, by 2050, it's projected to take the spot of number one, as its population increases from 18 million to 40 million, almost entirely as a result of climate refugees. Dhaka is already one of the densest and most impoverished cities in the world. Imagine what will happen when it more than doubles in size. Even worse, by 2050, Bangladesh will lose 17% of its land, but its population will rise to 250 million. This means that Bangladesh will be smaller in size than Louisiana, but more populated than Hungary, Canada, Australia, Portugal, Morocco, Israel, Italy, and the United Kingdom combined. So the climate refugee crisis in Bangladesh is one of the most devastating effects of global climate change, and it's a direct result of the nation being flat and slanted downwards, which makes it especially prone to rising seas. So how did its slanted topography get to be this way? Well, according to Wikipedia, Bangladesh's coastline is highly irregular, filled with dozens of riverines. This is a result of the annual monsoon floods in Bangladesh. So these floods bring in large heaps of sediment toward the inland of the country through the Ganges and Brahmaputra rivers. The flooding brings in over 1 billion tons of sediment per year into the Bengal Delta, the weight of 465 million cars. That's a lot of sediments for one small floodplain. So in the Bengal Delta, the riverines are based on basement layers of igneous and metamorphic rock strata. These igneous and metamorphic basement strata are weak and subject to intense faulting and isostatic depression. So when the heavy sediments from the floods pile uncomfortably atop these rock layers, their sheer weight pushes the strata down. This makes the delta point slightly downwards making the Sunderbonds at times below sea level. So believe it or not, this strange rare geological phenomenon of isostatic depression caused by sediments in the Bengal Delta is the exact reason that Bangladesh is two to seven times more susceptible to sea level rise than the rest of the world. And it may just cause one of the biggest refugee crises in world history.